Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, this is going to be another project series. This one is a, a little more advanced than the guess your number game, but not too much more. It's just going to add something using lists and it'll be a little bit more complex game logic. But aside from that, you should follow through from the last project series and you should end up picking up a few more things. I'm going to add a few more things in here that I haven't put in, I didn't put in the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and let's talk about what we're actually going to do. Now this is going to be a dice game and the dice game is going to be a high or low. So you're actually going to bet based on high, low, or the number seven. So you're going to roll two dice and you're going to place one of three bets on it each time until either you decide to quit because you've won enough money or you have zero dollars and you've lost. All right, so. Let's go ahead and get started with uh, just creating the basic menu and the choices. So you, you really only have a certain number of choices. We're not going to do the game logic in this one. We're going to save that for next time. So in this one, we're just, just doing the menu and just getting it so that we can exit the game and we can make some choices. So the first thing I want is I know I'm going to need this uh, because I need random numbers. So in order to get random numbers, I do the same import that I did from Guess Your Number. Then I set up the same idea of the loop. In this case, it's while true. Uh, now my menu in this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually going to create, I don't know, kind of a cooler menu, I think. And this will say, place your bet. And then print one. Actually, what I'm going to do up here is actually say place your bet or enter X to exit. Okay. All right, and this will be high. Print two for low. And print three for seven. And each one of these is going to have a different payoff. And uh, high is two times, low is two times. Hi. And three times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three times. Okay. And print four is leave. Actually, we don't need this here, Presley, because we've got uh, X to exit here, so sorry. Let's go ahead and uh, put in one more thing. We're going to say cash on hand. So this is how much cash you currently have. And I'm going to make a variable called cash, which will be an integer. Then I'm going to place in the bottom here. We're going to put some other stuff in later, uh, but for the time being, this works just fine. So I've got cash 100 and I've got a menu that prints out. So nothing really special here at all yet. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we do need to check for input. So we're going to have a choice and choice is going to say equals input and we'll just say choice or choose. Yeah, see. There we go. And uh, based on whatever you choose, we're going to want to do a couple different things. So in this case, I, the first thing I want to check for is if the person wants to exit the game or not. So I'll say if choice is equal to x or choice is equal to big x. If either of those are true, then I will print thanks for playing and hope to see you back soon. And then I'm going to break, so it gets me out of the loop. All right, and, and actually, I could put this outside the loop, but I'm going to put it inside here. Uh, the next thing I want to check for is if they have placed a bet, if they're going to place a bet. Okay, so we just have this option here, uh, and that's going to be an elif, and I could say choice. Now, 
There's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that I probably think a lot of people are going to do it. Uh, they would probably do something like this. And this way works just fine. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. And then I'm going to, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you a shorter way of doing this when we clean up the code a little bit. And that's actually one thing I do want to stress is when you're writing a program, just write it naturally first and then go back later and try to try to make it better in some way. So what we, we call that optimization. So try to optimize things as you go through. If you try to optimize while you're coding, oftentimes you get stuck trying to make something really good at one point. So just get the, get the thing done first, even if it maybe it's not pretty looking or it's slow or whatever, just get it done and then go back and figure out, well, how can I make it not slow? How can I make it better? How can I make it more, I don't know, clean and the code more efficient, okay? When I say clean, I mean uh, when you're looking at the code, it doesn't look like a garbled mess. All right, uh, so in this choice, if I have chosen one of these, we're gonna roll the dice. So I'm gonna say roll is equal to random int one to six plus rand int uh, one to six. Okay, and then I'm just gonna print the roll right now because we're gonna worry about all the game logic in the next video. All right, and else print enter a valid choice hey. and continue not break all right so at the moment this should work uh, we've got starting with 100 100 cash whatever you want to call it dollars whatever currency is your currency of choice uh, we print out our menu and in this case we we have pretty much have everything we want uh, our choices we have exiting betting and then you didn't enter something valid so we've covered all of our possibilities all right so let's run this okay um, when we run this we're gonna go ahead let's first bet high and we're just gonna see what happens so uh, there is one and choices two, and choices three, and all of these seem to seem to work. And I can keep betting as long as I want. Four, six, eleven, six, seven, six, eleven. Why is eleven coming up so much? Eight, five, seven, eight, eleven, nine, nine, eleven, seven, eight, five, nine, eight four and so on okay now uh, let's try to exit now exit good it exits all right uh so this seems to be working just fine uh the next thing we're going to want to do is work on the game logic and we'll come back as i said before and fix some of this up uh, i'm going to add some stuff up here in the next part on high low because we actually want to tell the user what that the roles are for that um and we'll change the menu a little bit to go with our rules here in just a minute. Okay, uh, so see you in the next video when we do all the game logic for this one.